Hey guys, welcome back. I am going to be doing a review today on this Farberware Copper Waffle Maker. I picked this up on clearance at Walmart for $5. The original price was $29 and a few cents, so about $30. Um, I'm going to open it for the first time and use it for the first time. I've already prepared my batter, which is just the Aunt Jemima Buttermilk Complete. It's pancake mix, but on the side here it shows you how to make waffles. And I already prepared the batter just because it says that it the results are better if you wait about five minutes, leave it sitting for about five minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and then we'll see how easy it is to make a waffle. I guess that's all that's in the box, just the styrofoam and then the waffle maker and the instructions. This is what it looks like when you get it out of the box. nice shiny copper irons there and normally I would wash this before I use it but I'm not going to eat this waffle I'm just using this as a demonstration purpose so I'm going to go ahead and put this on the English side and read the instructions on what to do first most people do not like to read instructions. They just go ahead and start using things, but that is a super bad idea because you can break something or do it the wrong way or just stick and mess up the plates on your waffle iron. So I'm not going to read aloud to you the whole guide, but before the first use, of course, you should remove all the packaging materials. And here, to using the appliance, it tells you it's only for making waffles, not for any other use. I'm not sure what else you could use that for. Make sure that it's not around any other, uh, at least six to eight inches away from other objects and cupboards and walls. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. It just has to make sure that you leave it closed. The entire time. And I'm just going to, it seems pretty self explanatory. You just heat it up and spray some cooking spray or spray butter on the upper and lower waffle plates, and then pour the batter into it and just close it and see what happens. So let's go ahead and try to make a waffle. Okay, so I've already got this sprayed and just waiting for it to be heated enough for me to put the batter inside. It says it takes about three to six minutes to cook and that when the steam, there's no more steam, that's when your waffle is ready. Okay, our green light is on that says ready, so I'm going to go ahead and pour the batter inside. That spray kind of turned brown. I'm not sure if that is a good sign or a bad sign. I'm not really sure how much of this to put in. It just says don't overfill. It's supposed to make a seven inch waffle. The batter to me actually seemed kind of thick, but I did follow the recipe on the Aunt Jemima box, so hopefully. It'll work out. I'm just going to close this and I'm not going to make you watch this for six minutes. That'd be like watching water boil. It's not going to make it happen any faster. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and when it says that it's ready, we will open it up and see what the waffle looks like. I just want to show you that that green light did go off 
and when it turns on again that means that the waffle is ready. I'm also going to show you at the end of this how to clean it. It says that you just need to wipe it down. We'll see if it's that easy or if it sticks or anything like that. I don't know if you can see it but it's steaming and there's some liquid dripping out of it. I'm not really sure if that's supposed to happen. It's clear like water but I guess maybe from the steam but hopefully it won't get too messy. Okay it's already showing that the waffle is ready. Let's see what it looks like. Well I probably should have put a little more batter. Let's see if I can find something to get this thing out with. And I kind of like my waffles to be a little more crunchy, so I wonder if I'll leave it here. It's pretty. It looks like it's done. It looks like it's going to come up really easily. But I kind of want to leave it just a little while longer and see what happens. I like crunchy waffles because if you put syrup on a soft waffle, it's just going to be soggy. Once I opened it and closed it, the light went off again. So I guess I'm double baking this waffle. And it's steaming again. I also wonder what would happen if I were to put, my kids are always asking me for chocolate chip pancakes and chocolate chip waffles. So I may do another video just to see what happens if I do put chocolate in there and if it sticks to the plates or I need to read the instructions just a little to make sure it doesn't say not to do anything like that. It shouldn't hurt, but you never know. It says it's ready again, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this waffle out. There we go, I can feel it's much more firm. And very pretty. And you can see that the iron is very clean. It did not stick at all, so I will just wipe it down with a damp cloth and there you have it that was super easy very fast you can make waffles at home with this barberware copper waffle iron and i found it for only five dollars at walmart that may not be the price at your walmart this was on clearance but i'll show you the barcode just in case you want to go and see if you can find this one And what you can do is just take a screenshot of this right here and then you can use another device or you can have the Walmart employee scan it and you can use your Walmart app if you're using your own phone. You'll be able to find if their store or if a local store has these in stock. Sometimes it'll even tell you which aisle they're on. If you have used this or if you have <coughs> any suggestions, I apologize for my voice. I'm a little sick. It's getting cold outside. So, um... The weather's getting to us all, but if you have any questions, comments, um, suggestions, any experience with this exact waffle maker, just go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos of different reviews of anything and everything that we do. We test out all kinds of different things. We test out diets. We test out um, appliances. We test many different things. So just let me know what you would like to see. Comment. Hit the thumbs up if you don't mind so that we can get these videos out to other people. And just uh, keep watching. Hit the bell so you can get notifications for different videos.